Okay, so what I've got here today is a ThinkPad T14 Generation 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the RAM in this. So there's a few tools that you're going to need. Firstly, you'll need the, the extra RAM stick that you're going to stick in. So what I've got here is an 8 gigabyte stick. And that's because the model I have is the 8 gigabyte version. If you've already got 16 gig, then you're going to want to get a 16 gig uh, expansion. It's always better to match these up. Um, yeah, just trust me on that one. Uh, it's just a bit easier. Next, you're going to need something to pry the case apart with. Now, I've just got a knife here. It's not the most professional, but it gets the job done. You can get more um, specific prying tools as well if you have those, but a sharp knife will do. You're going to, again, not the most professional, you're going to need something to open the SIM tray because uh, all of these models have a SIM tray with them, regardless of whether or not you're using them. And what I've got here is just a pin. You can also use an actual SIM tool. I don't have one lying around, so we've got a pin today. And then a Phillips head screwdriver. So this is quite a fine um, tip because the screws on this are fairly small. So first off, what you want to do, you're going to make sure that this is fully shut down. Yeah, so shut down. So you don't want to hibernate it or anything because what we're going to do is we're going to shut off the internal battery. In the older ThinkPads, uh, you had a detachable battery. So in that case, you could just pull it off. But obviously, newer laptops have a different design and the battery's internal. So we need to switch that off in the BIOS. So what you're going to do, once you've powered off, you're going to power it on again and continuously press enter. And what this, what this will do is this interrupts the boot process so that you don't boot into Windows or Linux or whatever your operating system is. And it will take you to a setup screen. I'll just show that here. So then we want to press F1 to enter the BIOS setup. Okay, so we want to go to config and then to power. Go down to disable built-in battery. Go across that you've selected that and press enter. And then it'll say system will be powered down if you select yes. Do you want to proceed? We say yes. And this powers down and completely shuts off the internal battery. Now to re-enable that, you're going to need to plug it back into the AC. So just be aware of that. If you press your power button, it's not going to power on again. Okay, so now that we're fully shut down, we're going to remove this here, which is the SIM tray slot. So as I say, I've just got a pin. Just pulls it straight out. Set that to the side, and that's just because when you take the case off the back, the SIM tray slot goes straight through, so you could bend it, or you just have a hard time opening the case with that. Once you've got that, we've got these screws here. Six screws, and you don't need to pull them all the way out, you can just leave them in. So, I'll do that just now. Okay, so I've unscrewed all the screws. The next part, as I say, is we're going to need to pry open the case. So, if you look here, there's a small line that goes right around the entire outside of the case. We're going to need to pry this open. There are small clips on the inside that we need to unclip. Be gentle with this. Um, it is fairly thin plastic. If you're using a knife as well, don't stick it in too far. Just be sensible, basically. Uh, they're not built quite the way they, they used to be, and they're a bit harder to get into. This is probably the, the most difficult part of the process. So you'll notice there, I've taken this out now, you'll hear a little click, 
and then it will stay open like that. You're just trying to undo all those clips. Okay, so we've got lift off a of this screw here, I think. There we go. Okay, so we popped right off like that. There's the other side. So there we go. So there's your battery. The CPU will be under here, under the cooler. We have your SSD right here. So this, if you're going to do an SSD upgrade, that's where that would go. Then here, if we just flip this over. This is our expandable RAM slot. So the T14 Gen 2 has two RAM slots, one of which is soldered, so you can't remove that. And the second is expandable. So this is where we're going to put a new RAM. Fairly straightforward at this point. Just going to open this up. We just slot right in. And it'll just clip in like that. And there you go. That's you, you've expanded your RAM. Now, we need to put everything back together again. So, yeah, same in reverse. Okay, my camera cut out for some reason there. So, um, I haven't changed anything. All I've done, I've put everything back together. Remember your SIM tray. Remember to put that back in. And then to boot again, Remember, we've turned off the internal battery, so you need to connect to AC. And we'll pivot on and see what we get. So as you can see, it's booted to Linux, no issues. We'll log in here. And I'll do a quick new fetch. And there we have it. We've got a RAM upgrade. Everything's worked smoothly and our system's working fine. Hope this has been helpful. Hope it gives you a bit more life out of your, your laptop and means that you can do whatever work you're trying to do on it. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.